Hello, Damon Mercy Solutions. Today we're going to take a look at what I think is one of the best features of the S3 protocol in storage solutions and that is the ability to define your own metadata as you upload objects. So we're going to take a look with the AWS uh, CLI command line and how we can upload an object and define user defined fields. We're then going to use the AWS S3 API to retrieve just the header back from the object and look at the fields. And we'll also view that within S3 browser. So let's uh, jump into it. We'll take a look at the system and how we're going to do that and some of the use cases. Okay, so one my system here. So first thing on the server, we're using a package from uh, Point Software and Systems called Point Archival Gateway. As you can see, this basically turns a tape library into a fully compliant S3 uh, storage solution. So you can store zettabytes of data relatively cheaply. Um, we can also set up various things like erasure encoding, um, which in essence allows us to store the data across multiple tapes and also create high availability. Um, if you're interested in this, there'll be a link at the end of the video where we take a deeper dive into the uh, S3 solution from Point. Anyway, so let's come back here on the system. And I've got uh, some data here. So I've actually got uh, four files here. So these are actually a couple of forensic images that have come out from one of our uh, media stations. So this is a disk image of a memory card. And alongside it, we've got a sidecar file. The sidecar file is used to store the metadata. So what I'm going to do is use S3 to upload the actual evidence, in this case, the forensic image. And I'm going to define the information contained in the sidecar here um, is used to define fields uh, or custom metadata and upload that straight into the point archival gateway using S3. So let's uh, go over to uh, Notepad here. Um, I've already prepared the command line and we'll copy the command from here. And if I go back to the command prompt, we can uh, run the command here. And this will upload the file to point. And what we'll see then is point will take this file in. Okay, so we can see the uh, uploads completed there. Let's take a look at the uh, command line. Just move back to the start here. So we can see we're using the AWS S3 command. We've got the endpoint is PAG, which is our local server. And we're copying this uh, object and we're sending it to bucket one. And the secret to the user defined metadata is by using this tac tac metadata. We've then got a quote and then each custom user defined field we want to define is listed first with the equal sign and then the value of that uh, field. So if we scroll through, we can see I've uploaded all of the fields here. And towards the end here, you'll see we actually uh, upload a field with some spaces um, here on the start time. So you can see here, these quotes are used to uh, allow us to upload the spaces. If I change over to S3 browser, and if we change over to the bucket, which in this case is bucket one, we can see we've got the object I've uploaded. And if I click on here, we can see under the headers then, we've actually got the uh, custom defined user codes here. So in this case, check code. Then we've got classification, downloaded by the hash, and the various other fields are here. We can also use um, the S3 API to retrieve these. And if I scroll back, we grab this command here, and we'll just run this command. And you can see, by using the AWS S3 API to my point, um, we can specify the head object only in the bucket and key, and this will return the header of the object without actually downloading the entire object. So we can query back the metadata from the object. One thing with uploading the metadata is you're limited to 2K and the data should also be ASCII encoded. If I try and upload the log file here and we run this command, 
you'll see we'll actually get a error come back here. Um, you can see it uh, basically said non ASCII characters found in the value non ASCII. You can see we've got uh, non ASCII characters there. So uh, the S3 metadata can only take in ASCII characters. Now it is possible to use UTF encoding and upload them that way. But then obviously when you pull them back out, you would have to decode them again as well. Thank you for making it to the end of the video. I hope you found this useful. Um, the link on the right here is to the more in-depth look at Point Archive Gateway. Um, please feel free to subscribe to the channel. And if you found this useful, to like and comment below. Thank you very much.